Hey, we have a box. Yes, we do. I wanted to open this with you, so thank you for hanging out for a few minutes um, and checking out what's inside with me. As I usually do, I kind of want to just go over a little bit of why we have this box in front of us and just the details of it. So this took a little over a month to get here. No, 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 a little under a month. It shipped from Germany. I did not plan on getting this doll, but the artist is from Ukraine and all of the proceeds from this doll went to support children uh, from Ukraine who were distressed or injured. What's really cool is just about a week ago, the artist was kind of just messaging me because she's been keeping track of the progress of the shipping and she was able to share with me uh, where the proceeds from buying this doll went and it was to a little girl who's in the hospital. The artist um, is a very strong advocate for supporting those who are displaced or going through something, you know, and um, I think it's really special. So I'm kind of nervous because <laughs> is like open and then also to let you know there's nothing that's going to be um, added in this box it's just going to be the doll because the artist as I said is from Ukraine and had to flee to Germany and really didn't have you know a lot of stuff so there's not going to be like a box opening and pizzazz which is totally understandable but let's take a look at who's inside all right, let me see, cut, cut, cut. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. I'm so excited because I have, counting today, I have nine days off from work, <laughs> which is insane. I don't think I've ever had that many days off of work. And I took it off, we have Monday off because um, I work at a, um, I work at a company that recognizes Juneteenth but that is on a Sunday so they give us Monday off and I decided to take the rest of the week because it's the doll show and I'm gonna be going there um, three days this week and I have to kind of do some things to prepare for it still so yeah I'm so awkward you guys I'm left-handed <laughs> I feel like whenever I do anything in front of anyone it exposes my awkwardness because of my left-handedness, but I love being left-handed. Okay, she's showing. Okay, so here we go. Um, this is the Missy kit. There's, oh, let me, there we go. So there is a COA, and oh, she did, she did manage to Add a little something that's sweet I didn't expect anything because like I said oh look well that was so kind of her um, she she has a very interesting story and she is a huge advocate she's been doing a lot for um, those who've been impacted by the war and oh my goodness I love this oh I gotta open this uh, so anyway She's using her doll making skills. She's been an artist for many years to um, help aid and fund and support those in need from Ukraine. So that's really cool to know that I contributed somewhat to that. Okay, that scared me. Like, let me show you what just fell out. So I'm gonna cover her. This just fell out. <laughs> And I thought it was like her hair, but she just made these really cool ponytail clips. They have magnets. And then it just has like extra hair from the hair she rooted. So my little girl has extensions, man. That's cool. Okay. Is she in frame? Yeah, she is. Okay, here we go. She's very light, which I totally get why artists who are shipping internationally weigh their dolls typically really lightly it's just cheaper so i will definitely re-weigh her oops she's got a little hair there oh my gosh she's her legs are so big 
Oh, do you guys see that? <laughs> She's so big. Wow. Oh, I love her skin tone. And she does have beads in there. She just has a lot of stuffing, which again is totally fine. Oh, wow. Look at that. I love her skin tone, you guys. I really love it. And the pictures of her, she looked really fair. And um, they were really artsy kind of photos that were, I don't want to say blurry, but maybe you know what I mean. Just really soft and it was really hard to kind of see everything very clearly. And she looked um, really fair, but she's actually got like this, all of these, all of these skin tone. And that's kind of a neat surprise. Oh my gosh. Oh, these hands. I'm in love with these hands, you guys. I just love how they're sculpted. Okay, I'm just making sure that you're seeing it. Look at that. So amazing. Well, I love her already. Let's open her up and see her face. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm impressed. Really, really. It looks like her eyelashes were smashed down, which is okay because I can work with that. I can fix that. Let's put her other ponytail in. <laughs> so crazy. She's got a magnet. Oh my God. I'm like really blown away. What do you guys think? She's so light, so she doesn't have any beads in her midsection. So I'm gonna weight her pretty heavy. And there's her face. Do you see how her eyelashes are kind of down? So I'm gonna work with those. I know in the pictures they were um, up more. Oh, this is really cool. So she textured her eyebrows so they feel like, it feels like hair. <laughs> That's amazing. I love experiencing art from other parts of the world. I think we have the most amazing artists, you know, um, in other countries. And just knowing that me purchasing this doll supports a little girl who needed help, like felt really good, especially considering it was an impulse buy. So that made me feel better about it. Wow, I'm like really impressed. Let's, there we go. Look how big. Wow, she's really cute, you guys. Tell me what you think. Gosh, she's so cute. I have to be honest, I didn't expect to be like this impressed. But she is really done beautifully and her skin tone surprises me. It's so beautiful and it's a, it's just a skin tone I really love. I was expecting her to be really pale and she's not. Wow, she's really cute. She is stunning. Really beautiful. You know what these feet remind me of? Adelaide. It's like a toddler I painted once that's like a standing toddler. Yeah, and she had kind of like a ballerina foot. Like she was on her tippy toes. Um, let me show you the artist. Um, it is, hold on. <laughs> I wanna make sure I get this right. Volvara dolls. There is her, like, her own COA, I guess you would say. Yeah. Cool. I'm so happy. I'm going to play around with her. I love that she has long hair. And um, I'm going to get her eyelashes swept up a little bit. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am 
honestly really pleasantly surprised. I really am. I'm gonna put some beads in her, get her weighted. I love these hands. Isn't she cute? Let's see what she looks like with a pacifier. And I'm really, um, I'm really happy that this artist was able to go to Germany and get to a safe place. And she has a studio now there. You know, she's able to work and create her dolls again. Hopefully things get better. There's a lot of tough things happening in the world. So look how long her hair is. Oh my God, it is so pretty and so well rooted. Look at the rooting. Amazing. Just beautiful. Isn't she just darling? I love her. Wow. I love her. She's so cute. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Um, I should have surprises coming your way, um, well, in the next few weeks. And then I have the doll show coming up next week. I'm really excited about that. I have a lot of dolls to um, sell at the doll show. And then I will be offering any dolls that don't sell um, online. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.